What's going on guys? I am Switters. Welcome back to the channel and let me again just say thank you all so very much. We've had an incredible week so far. Uh, gained over 50 subscribers, a whole ton of views. Really appreciate you guys. That being said, let's jump in with some Xbox and PC news for the Black Ops Cold War beta, okay? This is separate from the PlayStation stuff. I've already put out a couple of videos about explaining exactly how to download, when you can play, who can play, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, from pre-orders to when it's free to all that. So this particular video is about Xbox and PC, and I'll just give you right off the rip here. Xbox and PC can pre-download the beta on Tuesday, October 13th at 8 a.m. Pacific time. If you've pre-ordered, okay? Now, uh, digitally pre-ordered, that is, as well. Uh, for PC players, you probably know this already, but you'll have to have a Battle.net account. If you ordered a physical copy, you will not be able to play the early access beta. You will be able to play the open access beta here. So let's just go through. This is from um, Call of Duty's page. Open beta, everything you need to know. Uh, two weekends of thrilling pre-launch multiplayer gameplay, one unforgettable Black Ops Cold War beta. We've got new game types. Okay, so during the beta, experience signature Black Ops combat across traditional 6v6 modes. The higher player count, 12v12 combined arms, and a brand new 40 player mode, Fireteam Dirty Bomb. The beta uh, will feature a selection of the game's multiplayer maps set in distinct global locations during the Cold War. Players can progress and rank up in the beta-specific leveling system, where loadout items including new weaponry, covert spy tech through field upgrades, and badass score streaks can be unlocked by earning XP. The Black Ops Cold War open beta will be free across all platforms with players who pre-order digitally gaining early access. Now, I just went through um, this part of it with the, uh, you know, who can play early and with the open stuff, the open beta part. Now, something about up here, the leveling system um, right here. <clears throat> the They have not said whether or not your progress during the beta will carry over to the actual game yet. I'm have I have a feeling it just won't. I don't believe they've done it in the past. Um, I don't think it will, but who knows? And to be honest, who really cares? If you're gonna play, you're gonna play. One thing though that you definitely can get is if you get to rank ten during the beta, whether it's the um, early access beta or the open beta, it doesn't matter. Just during the beta at some point. If you get to uh, level 10, you can unlock a character, the um, Adler character. Um, you will, uh, excuse me, you will not, that's, that's for mobile actually, that you unlock the Adler character. But you will, when you reach level 10 in the beta, get an exclusive weapon blueprint at game launch, okay? And you will get, if you play on COD Mobile, you will have access to the Adler character in COD Mobile. So if you've been watching my videos at all about um, the Alpha and Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War at all, my experience so far playing the Alpha and from everything I've seen, to me, this very much looks like it's basically a continuation of Modern Warfare. So, and I, you know, if it was me, I'd just call this Modern Warfare 2020 rather than Black Ops Cold War. But whatever, that's not important. But you will get a weapon blueprint at launch if you reach level 10. So they're doing the same uh, kind of weapon system, the same with the, all the attachments, how you unlock them for Modern Warfare. Um, the special, you know, blueprints for guns, uh, they're doing the same thing in... Cold War as they did in Modern Warfare. It's very, very, very similar to Modern Warfare. Open beta dates and times to play. There are two weekends for Black Ops Cold War beta. Each quote unquote weekend is scheduled to last a total of four days with both play periods scheduled to begin on Thursday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time 
and ending on Monday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time. You can follow Call of Duty or Treyarch um, on Twitter for any more announcements. I will try to keep you as updated as I possibly can as well. So stay tuned here. Maybe subscribe if you want to. It's, uh, it's up to you. Uh, weekend one, this is all PlayStation stuff. We've, I've already gone over that in separate videos, like the pr uh, previous two videos to this. So if you're curious about that, either read that real quick or um, go back and watch my previous two videos, okay? Uh, it's already covered. This is for Xbox and PC people. Okay, so weekend two, all platforms. The second beta weekend is available on all three platforms, and it's scheduled to run from Thursday, October 15th to Monday, October 19th. Again, that's Thursday, 10 a.m. Pacific to Monday, 10 a.m. Pacific. As a complete connected experience, crossplay will be active, allowing you to party up with friends and the greater community, no matter what they play on. So, crossplay will be enabled. If you're playing on PlayStation, but your buddy, you know, and you've been playing you know, the early access and all that stuff, and your buddy is now on Xbox, you guys can play it together still. It's totally fine. Work the same way as it did in Modern Warfare, where you each have to have an Activision account and do it that way. Xbox and PC early access, okay? So those who pre-ordered the game digitally, I'm stressing that so hard in each of these videos because it's very important. If you have pre-ordered digitally, on Xbox One, Xbox Series X, or PC via BlizzardBattle.net can begin playing the beta on Thursday, October 15th, 10 a.m. Pacific, and on Friday, October 16th. Um, Xbox Live Gold is required for Xbox players, and PC players are required to have a Battle.net account. Xbox and PC open beta the rest of the weekend from Saturday, October 17th, again, probably at 10 a.m., to Monday, October 19th at 10 a.m., is accessible to Xbox and PC players regardless of pre-order status, meaning you do not have to have pre-ordered the game to be able to play the beta. You only get two days of it, but still, you can play it. Uh, now, everyone in the Call of Duty community can hop on and play together. So, uh, this is all, I think, very good news. Personally, I have I ordered the game on PlayStation and Xbox. I pre-ordered a Xbox Series X. Was not able to get my hands on a PS5 yet, at least. Um, so I, you know, I basically have to if I'm going to make videos on it. I have to be in there and playing it and seeing what's going on. For the second weekend, especially since it's crossplay, I can almost guarantee you I'll be playing solely on the xbox on the second weekend but again that's the good thing it doesn't matter you can play with playstation people you can play with pc people you can do all of that stuff so i would like to um i would like to play with you guys my subscribers you know you guys know if you play the alpha there's and the beta it's always filled with the sweaty kids you know and i don't mean that in a derogatory way i really don't uh, I don't use the word try hard when I get mad at them because they're kicking my ass. Yeah, I do a little bit. But I, you know, of course, they're getting on there and they want to play and they want to be good at the game and they want to win. I totally get it. I, to be honest with you, for uh, multiplayer, I'm a fairly average to slightly above average player. Uh, I'm not going to get in there and destroy. I mean, if you watch my alpha um, gameplay, I had some games where I was just like just barely above even to I had games where I was, you know, uh, I went 30 and 10 or something like that, you know, 30 and 5 even sometimes. Um, but I'm much more of a like a 1.5 to 1.75 type of uh, KD player. Uh, so I'm not, you know, I'm, you don't watch my channel to see me dropping nukes and doing all that kind of stuff. That's just not who I am. So my whole point of this is if you guys would like to play and you're subscribed to my channel, I would like uh, for us to be able to party up. Maybe we can even do some of that 20v20. Like, that would be nuts to get 20 people on the same lobby. Be pretty damn difficult, to be honest with you, uh, logistically. But we can give it a shot. If it really is a nightmare, we might just stick with the 6v6. Or if you guys just don't want to do it at all, that's fine by me. I'm going to be playing anyway. I will be streaming it, so you can check that out. Uh, what's inside the beta? The Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War beta will feature a mix of maps, modes, and playlists, 
Similar to past betas, the Black Ops Cold War beta will also include a progression system where players can earn XP in order to unlock new content for their loadouts, including weapons, equipment, creative class slots, and score streaks. So unlike, I think, the alpha where everything was available that they made available to you, all the attachments, everything was available to you from get-go. You didn't progress at all. You didn't uh, unlock anything. It was just all available uh, from moment one until the time, the moment that the alpha ended. So it looks like here, yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna basically be starting at zero, and then we'll have to earn um, weapon attachments. We'll have to earn score streaks. We'll you know new unlock things, like you always have. Typical Call of Duty, right? Um, expect frequent updates and a few surprises to take place within the beta across both weekends and stay tuned to official Call of Duty and Treyarch channels for specific details. Visit the Cold War landing site to get detailed information on the game, beta, and specific beta multiplayer intel like game, uh, game modes and loadouts. And there you go with the reach level 10 in the beta and you're going to get that weapon blueprint for, I call it the the Uzi. I don't I don't remember what it was called in the game. Received the mutual animosity weapon blueprint at launch. That game, that gun, it has a very slow fire rate, but it is powerful, man. Oh my god, it's powerful and it sh well, in the alpha, very 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 little recoil. Um it was a pretty goddamn <laughs> pretty hardcore weapon. Um all players who reach level 10 within the beta will receive an SMG we uh, weapon blueprint at the launch of Black Ops Cold War. I already mentioned all that. Weapon blueprint is a variant of a weapon family within the game, complete with its own unique name and cosmetic differences. Weapon blueprints may also come pre-equipped with attachments, allowing you to use them on that specific weapon without needing to level it up, which is nice, to unlock those attachments organically. Uh, these attachments can be swapped out in favor of other attachments to earned by leveling up uh, the weapon normally. Across the beta, as mentioned through the schedule, digital pre-order customers will be entitled to early access Thursday and Friday. Through their account on which they purchased the game, all other players can uh, still access the open portion of the beta Sunday through Monday, Saturday through Monday, I beg your pardon, for free. Um, okay, we've already kind of gone through this. Uh, download the beta from your platform's respective first-party store and follow the prompts to download on PC week two. Uh, the Black Ops Cold War beta can be found under Partner Games. I'm not a PC player, so I'm going to trust that uh, my PC friends will know what that means and where to find that. Um, they never make it all that easy for you to find where to download or pre-download uh, the beta, the alpha, all this kind of stuff. I just put a video out earlier today about the where you can pre-download the beta on PlayStation. So if you're having any difficulty finding it, and it was not that easy, to be honest with you, um, check my channel. It's the previous video to this. Um, I will tell you right now, you had to go in and you had to type in Black Ops, search in the store, Black Ops Cold War beta exactly like that or you wouldn't be able to find it you would just see the regular game you would see the standard edition the cross-gen edition and the ultimate edition but from those titles i pre like i said i've already pre-ordered it so i have the game in my library you cannot download the beta from the game itself in your library you have to search black ops cold war beta You'll see it pop up. Again, watch my previous video. I go through it step by step. You can see exactly how it's done there. Preload information. Prior to the beginning of each weekend, all players will be able to preload the beta. I mentioned this at the beginning of this video. Um, so you can go back and listen to that if you like. Uh, Xbox, where we're, again, this is about Xbox and PC. We've already, I've already made a separate video for PlayStation. Uh, you can preload the beta starting on October 13th at 8 a.m. Pacific time. I would imagine it's going to be exactly the same on Xbox, but I will make another video on me actually uh, pre-downloading the beta on Xbox just in case it's different than it was on PlayStation, okay? But you can always reference the PlayStation video. Again, it's the video just before this on my channel. 
I'm assuming you would do the exact same thing, go into the Xbox store, search for Black Ops Cold War beta and see it then. And I mean, I think that that's about it. Um, Pre-orders can securely access uh, can, can secure early access to the open beta and receive instant rewards like the Woods Operator Pack for immediate use in Modern Warfare and Warzone. Um, blah blah blah. You can see all of that. I don't want to make this video so very long. I appreciate you guys checking out the channel. Subscribe if you find are finding this helpful and useful. And let me know if you'd like to play uh, during the beta time. If you want to, I'm like I said, I'm gonna be live streaming it. Um, it will be with subscribers if anybody chooses to. Um, it's totally up to you guys. But hopefully I'll see you out there and be cool and be good. Later.